Nation. Hello, everybody. So, I'm going to do a quick review here of the Voodoo, <coughs> or Mess of Voodoo, should I say, carrying case and paint rack, as seen here and in a later video, well, unassembled. So, let's get cracking. So, it comes with a pretty thick. my cursor go zoom out one notch here so it comes with a very thick heavy duty padded nylon strap which then comes with what seems to be pretty good metal Strap connections. Which then connects to these metal pieces here that I added. Well, I didn't add it, they gave it to me and I put it on as per instructions. Here is the outer shell of, of the carrying case. Uh, this is the actual part that you're seeing here. This is the part that goes to the rack and everything that goes inside. <coughs> Obviously, right? Now, how it achieves this, because um, if you look here at the bottom, this bottom here is actually the paint rack, and then the sides here are the case that that covers it that you used to travel around with so if you look here this little hand holds in the carrying case to kind of lift up with but you have these little knobs here these knobs thread through into your actual case. So there's this plastic piece here, which it starts to thread in, and then there's a metal piece that you all Allen wrenched in to the actual case itself, the uh, rack itself, should I say. And uh, then that goes through those two, which keeps these two units together. So, pretty easy. Uh, works really well. Uh, obviously, I have no weight in this at the moment. <sighs> I finished putting this together. Uh, I took, I did it in like two days. Put this together, um, and that's because I gave some drying time and some different things like that um, for for strength. Because I use wood glue uh, on this here. Now, this is a bit tight. Get it on and off. Which is kind of a good thing, because you don't want your paints flopping around. Uh, so as you can see, here's the inside of the case that covers. Now these are paintable, as is, so I could paint my case if I wanted. I'm just going to put that off to the side, because that's really the end of the carrying case aspect of this. Uh, let's see. I also got from the the Kickstarter, and I believe I showed it the little wet palette, which goes down here. And obviously, there's plenty of room still to put other things down here. Now, in the Kickstarter, you could have got a tray that slid out. You could have got another one of these that could have gone in. Um, I just wanted this. So, when you try to close the case, if this middle rack here is not flush, uh, which it's really not flush at the moment, uh, if it's not flush inside the rack itself, because this is a uh, another rack um, 
in here, and I don't know if you can see them kind of pushing it out at the moment. Yeah, this just showed you that it, come, it can be pushed. Um, so obviously here's the backing of the rack, and here is the middle part. So here is the middle that you thread that through so it connects. Uh, this is also paintable as is. You get three shells on the top and you get two shells in the middle section which you can push out like this. And this, this is a little bit tight, I won't lie, uh, this middle part here. Uh, so that you can have kind of a, this effect so you can see your paints easily enough if you have them sitting off to the side. And Windows is telling me something, go away for right now. So, obviously, this will fit your Vallejo model paints. There's a little extra room, but not too much. Alright, because obviously they designed these to hold other uh, paints as well. Prior to your press ink, it's a pretty round uh, bottle. A little extra room. Uh, scale model 75. Fits in there pretty good, like I said. A little extra room, but not too much. Uh, I have other ones. Give me one second here. Uh, Vallejo liquid metal gold fits in there with a little, 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 little bit, just a little bit of room. Boop. Same for that relic. Same. Ooh, a little tight on that one, and fine on this one. Yeah, this one's a little bit tight on, but that's okay. Uh, let's try Tamia. So Tamia. That will not fit in any of these, but you can always put it down here. So if you're a Tamiya uh, user, this is probably not going to be the rack for you, or some uh, MIG pigment uh, fixer that fits in there. And of course, I did away with all my P3 bottles, but. Um, these other ones, if the uh, Vallejo Liquid Golds are fitting in here, uh, your GW paint pots and your P3 paint pots are going to fit in here, no problem. Now for those of you that use craft paint, um, like folk art or Americana, anything like that, that fits in there. Uh, move that shelf out a little. That moves, fits there. You're in the type shelf, it fits in. So you can uh, use these for your craft paint too if that's what you use for your paints and I have nothing else other than dropper bottles excuse me to put in there uh, because that's what I like um I know that won't fit but uh, the thinner uh, bottles that I use for medicine bottles that I use for plants <coughs> for paint with will fit I'm looking around just to make sure there's nothing else that I could put in here that would be something uh, you guys might want to put into the paint rack. Um, uh, a cork. Alright, cork. Some of you guys like to put your stuff onto the corks. Fits. No problem. Eh? See that? No problem. I put my water mixtures in. Fits. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else I can really put in here <clears throat> that you would probably want to put in the rack. Um, to show you that it will fit. But, um, no putt 
obviously fits into the rack like that, but I don't think you'd be putting it in there unless you just have extra room. <coughs> you can use that space for that. Um, the mask from that is too big to fit in here, so that won't work. Um, zip kicker, that will fit in there. Oh, and we'll use uh, the zip uh, bottle. Uh, that one will fit as well in there. It's a bit tight, but it will fit. So, if you want to put your super glue in there. Obviously, the smaller super glue bottle will fit in there with much ease. Uh, it will actually go fully sideways in there. Um, so your secret weapon things here, these won't fit in uh, this way, but you could put them on their side and they would fit in. But um, I don't see you wanting to store those in here, but I could be wrong. Now, Secret Weapon had another pot type. Uh, nope. I'm just going to illusion, I think. <coughs> um, blue green stuff. Obviously, on its side, it will fit. So if it will fit, it will ship. Uh, yeah, I know, bad joke. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the paint rack. Oh, it's pretty light. It's pretty sturdy. Uh, I would recommend using wood glue. Uh, wood glue will provide you a very strong bond. Um, like I said, this middle piece here is a bit tight, but it seems like it's getting a little bit better as it's been sitting in here. Uh, I've had this together for a week, and this is already moving a lot better than it had when I first got it. So that's good. <clears throat> uh, you can put paint on these to paint them up so they look nice if you want, or you can just leave them as is. Uh, your personal thing, like I said, uh, you could buy the things that can go in here to give you more paint uh, storage, or just leave them as is. Um, they have one that's like a little, like a little tray. There's no things to put you know it's just like a little storage bin and um, you can get that dip out in there uh, and they also sold these wooden uh, brush holders uh, that will go down there as well um, they look nice and they're probably good for traveling but I already have something for traveling with my paint brushes so I really didn't want to pay the money for that the reason I got the this here was because the Chinese food containers I was using are a bit big and this is a much smaller and easier to manage container than the Chinese food containers I was using for the same thing. I do recommend this product. Um, it honestly does not hold as much paint as the other paint rank I have. Um, but the idea behind this one is to be a paint rack and that you can travel with your paints and stuff with and have it in a protective case. Um, for that, this will definitely work really good. Obviously, you're not going to probably be able to bring along all your paints unless you don't have that many paints. I mean, obviously, oh, one dropper bottle only takes up that much room so you can get a good amount of paints in here um, but if you got a crap ton of paint from a bunch of different companies they're not going to fit in here but you're going to be able to put in a project's worth of paint uh, into this case and take it around um, you can probably put a couple of projects worth of paint into this and carry it around with no problem and with the uh, carrying uh, cover, uh, it's it's going to be nice and tight, so the things aren't going to just go flopping around, really, uh, unless you kind of go uh, upside down, and then obviously they're going to, but, duh, you know, uh, you can't really stop that unless you um, pre-make a foam to kind of go in 
and cover the paint so that they can't go anywhere uh, in case that does happen. Um, but uh, Massa Voodoo uh, did the Kickstarter, and then they uh, had another thing for people who didn't get into the Kickstarter, so they'll be able to get these. And I do believe the idea is that they're going to make that a product uh, that you can pick up at any point in time. So go take a look at Massa Voodoo and their website, uh, and maybe they you can pick up one of these for yourselves. And if you travel a lot with paint or you just want a smaller paint rack uh, that's a little bit more versatile than what I had, or have, should I say, um, you can get yourself one of these as well. Well, I hope this review is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put them down below. Thank you once again, and have a great day.